Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the basic interface in FlySight Viewer. When you first open FlySight Viewer, it should look like this. You've got the plot view on top, uh, the top view, side view, and front view on the bottom, and last, the map view. Uh, the plot view will show plots like elevation, speed, that sort of thing. The top, side, and front views will show a 3D view of, of your jump. And the map view will show your jump overlaid over top of either a map or satellite imagery. Uh, we can add more views by going to the window menu and selecting any of these options. Uh, one that I really like to use myself is the logbook view, so I'll click on that. We can move these windows around, so if I click on the header in the logbook view and drag it, it will separate. And let's say if I drag it to the right edge of the plot view, you can see we get this big blue square. And if I let go of the mouse then, the logbook view becomes docked on the right side of the plot view. Let's import a track. Uh, to import a track, you can either go to File, Import Tracks, or you can press Control T. On your fly site, you'll see files organized into folders uh, that are named according to the date. Uh, and within each of those folders, you'll see tracks that are named according to the time. Uh, these dates and times are in UTC. So unless you've changed the configuration of your fly site, uh, these may not agree with your, your local time. I'll double click on this track to open it. You can see that the track shows up in the plot view uh, as well as in the views below. Uh, and also over here in the logbook view, we now see one entry for the track that we've just opened. Uh, every time you import a track, it'll get added to the logbook view. Uh, so you can always come back here to open tracks quickly uh, if you've opened them before. In the logbook view, you can change the description of the track so that you can remember what it was. Uh, to change the description, click on the description field, and then enter a new description. Hit enter, and it's done. That's it. In the next video, we'll talk about how to navigate and make basic measurements in FlySight Viewer.